Hi, welcome to your weekday astrology forecast for March 17th through March 20th. And on March 17th, the moon in Libra trines Venus in Aquarius. So this is awesome for relationships because you're going to feel extra harmonious when it comes to your emotions, more romantic, uh, more comfortable when it comes to romance as well. You'll be able to connect easier on an emotional level as well as an, as an intellectual level because both Libra and Aquarius are air signs and so your ability to really expand your mind will increase because Aquarius can show, like, show the more objective viewpoints while Libra is able to see both sides. So you can really have interesting conversations especially with a uh, romantic partner or with friends since Aquarius rules friendships as well. And it would also be a great day for um, seeing art or doing something that where you have mental activity or um, something that's more romantically based as well. And if you are single, it's a great day to find love. So. Yeah. Alrighty, and then the moon in Libra squares Jupiter in Cancer. Actually, it's going to create a grand cross with uh, Jupiter in Cancer opposing Pluto, moon in Libra opposing Uranus and Aries, and those all, you know, squaring each other. So, I broke it down into three parts, though, because the Jupiter and the Pluto are three degrees away from each other, so that's not exact, but it still is going to be felt, I'm sure. All right, so anyway, um, with the moon in Libra squaring Jupiter in Cancer, this is kind of bringing up both beliefs and beliefs about relationships, as well as about what home and family should look like. So this could create some tension when it comes to those things. Maybe one person feels that, you know, something should be a certain way and another person feels like it should be a, another way. So there could be a little bit of tension created in relationships or in your home or family life where it creates, you know, you know, some, uh, a need to find middle ground on that and really maybe try to come to uh, try to understand both sides of the picture. And then Moon in Libra opposes Uranus and Aries. And this also is going to be bringing up tensions, of course, because with a grand cross, you're just talking about all kinds of tension. You got oppositions and squares. That's what it's like. <laughs> so basically with Uranus and Aries, um, it's going to be talking about like wanting freedom, individuality, independence. Moon in Libra is kind of wanting more uh, partnership and maybe a little more romance and love and connecting so there are definitely opposite forces going on here and one person may be more aloof or wanting independence and one person may be wanting you know more connection and understanding and look at my point of view I want to you know I want to understand your point of view and then you're in a scenarios person's probably like Screw all this shit, I'm leaving. No, <laughs> I don't know. But they are probably going to be a bit more rebellious about it and want to do their own thing. And then the moon in Libra squares Pluto and Capricorn. So the moon in Libra is calling for cooperation under the stress of all of the pieces that aren't working coming to light when it comes to our careers or to the systems we've built or to the structures that are in place, whether that's, you know, on the grand scheme or in the smaller scheme of your own personal world. Um, so basically the moon in Libra is going to try to have us looking at both sides of an issue when it comes to you know, what needs to be changed? What needs to transform in our career? What needs to transform in the systems we built, in the structures we built? And maybe we need to shift our mindset about 
why we want the things that we want in the world. Why do we want status? Why do we want a career? Why do we want, you know, these things that, you know, we need to look at it at the unconscious part of ourselves that, uh, what are the unconscious reasons for the, for wanting those things? And the moon in Libra will help us to kind of see both sides of the issue as well as the more subjective viewpoint. So, yeah. And then Mercury enters Pisces. So communication is going to get a lot more convoluted and a lot more symbolic. You will have a lot more uh, insight into your dreams. You'll be able to understand what your dreams mean easier. You'll be able to understand what symbols mean easier. You may even have a lot more daydreams that come to you that could be uh, you know, insights that are, you know, coming through symbols and, and even your thoughts are going to be significant. So paying attention to that. And you may even have, uh, psychic insights or, uh, be able to read someone's mind easier during this time. And you may actually expect people to read your mind a little bit as well. So you may be you know, miscommunication occurs because of that, because you're not actually saying everything you're thinking. You're just saying what, you know, parts of it, everything you're saying could be, you know, you think you un that they understand, but they don't understand. And that's where the cross wires occur with uh, Mercury and Pisces. All right. And on March 18th, Venus in Aquarius, sextiles Uranus in Aries. So, in relationships, this is really calling for us to be a bit more unconventional, open-minded, and embrace a little more freedom together if you're in a relationship. Or if you're not in a relationship, then you may find a relationship that's a little more unconventional. And one in which you may require more independence or the person that you meet will require more independence or freedom. But also, it's a great time to break free from old patterns in your relationships. Try to kind of move past, uh, you know, old ways of doing things. Try new things and have adventures. And then the moon conjuncts Mars and Libra. This is going to have us be a lot more assertive about how we're feeling. And of course, you know, it's a good idea to exercise because you'll have a lot more energy and relationships, in relationships, arguments could come up or misunderstandings about how you expressed your emotions could come up. But ultimately, it's good for asserting how you feel in your relationships and also doing something active as well. And the moon conjuncts the north node in Libra and opposes the south node in Aries. So the moon conjunct the north node will have us being able to bridge the gap between what we are feeling and where our relationships are headed. So our emotions and our needs will be more easily met on that day when it comes to our relationships. And we will likely feel a very strong bond within a relationship or, uh, in one-on-one -on -one situations. And with it opposite the South Node in Aries, it's kind of, uh, we don't have to worry as much about some of the more negative tendencies of our own selves. Uh, selfish tendencies won't be as big of a deal, but we may need to strike a balance for more independence because the moon in Libra will definitely have us feeling a little more uh, wanting connection and partnership and uh, just kind of wanting that stuff. So if you're single, it may be a little more difficult because you might end up feeling slightly lonely. So that is something, you know, that could come up. But it also could be that you could in order to utilize it in a more positive way, um, just taking care of yourself and 
being gentle with yourself and um, perhaps even expressing yourself through artistic endeavors. And on March 19th, the moon enters Scorpio. So on this day, we'll probably be dealing with any hidden emotions or subconscious emotions that we haven't dealt with yet, or we'll become aware of something hidden and be able to transform ourselves on a subconscious level more. And on the same day, the moon trines Mercury in Pisces. So we could um, have a lot more psychic awareness into other people, uh, both from a mental and emotional perspective. And we could actually help them to become aware of their own hidden feelings in a conversation or have them become more aware of subconscious tendencies or unconscious things, basically. Uh, you could help them maybe interpret a dream or maybe you could go to someone who helps you interpret a dream or do working with unconscious and subconscious areas of life. And then the moon in Scorpio trines Neptune in Pisces. Also very similar to what I just said, but you'll be able to feel the emotions of others very easily. And it's a great day for healing, for um, studying about symbols and the unconscious mind, also the subconscious mind, uh, reading about dreams or interpreting dreams, um, looking at your own dreams, writing down your dreams, writing down your emotions, writing down your subconscious emotions. Dealing with all of that subconscious, unconscious stuff would be beneficial. And then the moon in Scorpio trines Jupiter in Cancer. This is also great for coming to an understanding of your emotions. So the potential here is to first become aware of your emotions and then be able to expand beyond any limiting emotions that we might have. So Jupiter helps us to really um, just expand in any area of life, whether it's uh, gaining abundance, traveling, uh, expanding from an inner point of view. And on this day, it's more likely to be a, more of an inner journey than an outer journey. So becoming aware of how we're feeling is the biggest way to do that. And then to definitely move beyond any limiting beliefs or subconscious beliefs that have been holding us back. And on March 20th, the moon in Scorpio squares Venus in Aquarius. So this is definitely, you know, going to be difficult because the moon in Scorpio is a bit more stormy and uh, wanting, you know, it's kind of more possessive and more jealous while the Venus in Aquarius is more freedom loving and wanting to step outside the boxes and uh, have individuality and freedom and, and all that stuff. So this could cause some tensions in relationships or even in friendships. But the best way to utilize this is for us to become aware of any subconscious tendencies towards the more jealous and possessive way of being and try to let up a little bit and try to embrace the freedom and individuality of those around you. So yeah, the Venus in Aquarius may push the Scorpio buttons, but it'll help us become uh, aware of those things at the same time, maybe by, you know, unconventional means. And then the moon in Scorpio sextiles Pluto and Capricorn. And this, of course, is going to help us to delve deeper into what is hidden in our world, in the structures we build, in the systems we build, in the careers we've built, and be able to uh, transform any thing in those areas that needs to be transformed, things that aren't working anymore, things that are maybe on the more unconscious side, things that, you know, 
really just cleaning cleaning out all the stuff that is uh, blocking you in those areas. And then the moon in Scorpio trines Chiron in Pisces. And this is very much about healing, very much about um, dealing with unconscious wounds, subconscious wounds more so. And yeah, it's, it's, it's going to transform the way you looked at those wounds possibly, or just help you to dissolve them or let them go. Um, but it's uh, definitely a time for healing. And then the sun enters Aries. So we get a burst of energy and it's the first day of spring. So it's all about new beginnings and uh, having the energy to start new things. And there may be a sense of impatience to start new things, impatience to get going on things, but it's also going to be great for, you know, getting stuff going, getting stuff done, getting stuff moving. And then the moon conjuncts Saturn and Scorpio. So this is going to put a bit of a weight of responsibility on the day, a need to get things going actually, and get things started, get things, um, you know, especially projects that you've been putting off for a long time or have been needing to get done for a long time. It'll help us to really get moving on things that have been weighing on us. And then the Pluto and then Pluto and Capricorn sextiles Chiron and Pisces with Venus and Aquarius on the midpoint. So Pluto and Capricorn sextile and Chiron and Pisces is all about healing unconscious and subconscious wounds and Venus in Aquarius on the midpoint is going to help us to find the freedom from these old wounds through relationships. Whether that's, you know, <clears throat> more than likely it'll be a romantic relationship, but it could be just any relationships you have around you and friendships as well. So our friendships could actually help us to um, break free from those old cycles and our relationships can help us break free from those old cycles. All right, that's it for the week. Have a great week and I will talk to you guys on the weekend forecast next week. Um, have a great one and thanks for watching. Thanks for liking and subscribing and commenting. I really appreciate it and yeah, talk to you later.